Dear chess friends, I found it. I found the best chess game that has been played by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16 chess engine. And the most fun part about this game that I'll show you today, in which Stockfish played against another top engine rebel, is that this brutal attack that you see now, this immortal attack, came out of the seemingly positional opening in the beautiful Petrov defense. And the Petrov defense is, in my opinion, really a solid opening. I like to call it a drawish opening. Black many times chooses to play the Petrov defense if Black wants to maybe get a drawish line in an early stage of the game. But the fish can play any opening and the fish will always create attacking chances in any opening. So pay good attention how this fish is creating really amazing attacking ideas, as I said, out of the seemingly positional opening like the pattern defense in my opinion a sick brutal attack uh, in my opinion simply chess really from another dimension so put your seat belts on and enjoy in this beautiful beautiful sharp attack here played by stock for 16 so here we have e4 by the fish we have e5 by rebel knight to f3 knight to f6 the pattern defense the russian game is on the board knight takes e5 we have d6 kicking away the knight knight to f3 and now after moving knight to e4 we have now the so-called nimzovich attack with the move knight to c3 the main line of this attack is of course knight takes c3 this leads into a asymmetrical pawn structure you see this pawn structure is not symmetrical anymore which creates of course also great attacking chances for both sides and usually the main line of this um, opening attack uh, is uh, here bishop d7 bishop to d3 it's very hard now for black to compete against this powerful bishop on d3 because look at this knight to c6 knight to b4 is not possible uh, bishop to f5 is not possible and usually black castles white builds of course this amazing bishop pair here this crossroad attack really uh really nice formation here bo of both of these bishops and now black has to get another defender in front of the king black has to reroute the knight to f6 because if you're having only pawns in front of your king then it's not so good you have to have i think at least one minor piece in front of your king so that's why with this maneuver when the king uh, when the knight comes on f6 the king is so far secured and now basically in the main line of this nimsovich attack white castles queen side black has already castled king side and now we have this opposite side attack him who is faster on the attack will eventually win the game so that's why here after move knight to c3 here rebel played now the move knight to f6 which is of course a loss of tempo but the pawn structure is symmetrical and when there is a certain symmetry here you see four pawns on the queen side three pawns on the king side then there are not so many uh, attacking chances in an early stage of the game so you have to find your plan to create at least some kind of an attack so it's not so easy as i said to create uh, here attacking chances for both sides so that's why as i said in the beginning black is trying to play the patrov if black wants to have equality in an early stage of the game so we have d4 bishop to e7 h3 preventing bishop to g4 castling and now bishop to d3 again stockfish relies on this attack uh, by this amazing bishop that's crossing all over the board so knight c6 a3 not allowing again dangerous attacks against this bishop rook to e8 and now kingside casting getting out of the attack uh, on the e file so bishop to have faked and now stockfish plays a very interesting idea knight to e2 this is the preparation to reroute now many pieces towards the king side. So now we can play knight to f3 or knight to g3. When that happens, we would have then four pieces that are targeting uh, the king side here. And also there are other attacking chances uh, here on the queen side with the move c4, d5, maybe c5 if possible, even b4 is an optimal move i think from this point on stockfish is showing the power of this position that basically white can attack both sides of the on the board so here h6 preventing also here maybe some pinning ideas by the bishop on g5 so we have c4 stockfish is now building some spaces here on the queen side and now d5 interesting idea very important defensive move here by rebel because if you play now c takes d5 then you're after knight to d5 or queen to d5 left with an with the structural weakness with the isolated default so that's why stockfish passes through plays now the move c5 has now the space advantage but now also a very nice move here by rebel a5 nice defensive move not allowing this pawns on the queen side to be connected because if b4 happens if white plays the move b4 in any ways i think black is going to get destroyed here on the queen side for sure 
white has to just push the pawns will simply kick away the knight on c6 and then if the, maybe the pawn gets even to b6 i think you get this royce bishop to c5 could happen so it could support the attack so that's why a5 very important defensive idea so queen to c2 knight to e4 rebel play so far great positional chess fixes simply the position also now in the center of the board placing the knight on the optimal square supported by the rook of course and maybe later if necessary we can also maybe support the knight with the move f5 so bishop to e3 uh, bishop to f5 rook to d1 queen to c8 very dangerous idea in some lines maybe there are opportunities with bishop to h3 queen to h3 but so far i think this would be a rushed attack so many of us i think sometimes even sacrifice the bishop and hope for the best without even calculating everything but uh, if you don't want to calculate too much always pay good attention if your opponent if you want to play of course a sacrifice does your opponent have many defenders in front of the king and i think it's an optimal position for white here where basically black cannot play this tactical shot on h3 because you have still two knights the bishop on e3 and also here uh, sorry uh, the bishop on d3 close enough to the action the queen is also close enough to the action so you get your fun with bishop to h3 but i don't see further attacking chances here for black so maybe a tempting idea but this move has to be calculated really in a deeper way so we have rook to e1 knight to e7 we have b6 competing now against the space advantage here that stockfish created and now stockfish gets used also here of this amazing square here uh, stockfish occupies now the e5 square and now put your seat belts on if you haven't already now now the game becomes quite spectacular now we have a tactical collision from this point on you witness really one of the most incredible attacks of all time so stockfish played now knight to e5 here rebel challenged the bishop on f4 and stockfish challenges also uh the bishop here with move g4 but after g takes f4 that stock uh, that rebel played stockfish played now knight to f4 sacrificed the piece uh, in an early stage of the game black has here uh, the chances to retreat with the bishop and when I analyzed the game at home I was really like what you're doing I mean you sacrifice the piece but I don't see any further opportunities because as I said like black like black and uh, similar like to position that we have talked about maybe as a possibility for black black is here i think decent defenders in front of the king so the pieces are close enough to the action there are at least three pieces that are defending the king and the queen could be maybe also included into the defense but now stockfish shows it's really mean plan plays not the move f3 knight to f6 and now c6 paralyzing simply the whole queen side this is really brutal this is really epic tactical but also then positional chess here by the fish a uh, really um playing now on both sides as i said i've felt that this attack could work on both sides so now stockfish has an advantage on the queen side but has now also attacking chances here on the king side really really an epic piece sacrifice here played by stockfish 16 so bishop to g7 king to h1 stockfish is trying now to include more attackers into the game especially on the g file so that's why rebel retreats with the king here to h8 we have rook to g1 anyway and now after rook to f8 now rook to d uh, rook from d to e1 and this is now i think the optimal um formation that stockfish built and i ask myself now really what can black play here i was really curious what kind of an opportunities does black have in any way so then i analyzed for instance the move rook to b8 at home okay i i thought okay maybe b5 b4 creates at least some chances uh, for black to get this loose rook here on, on a8 somehow into the game this rook is really out of game so maybe with the move b4 you can get into the game but now look at this what happens now simply h4 uh, white will simply continue to push uh, to push the pawns here on the king side you can maybe push the pawn on b5 but now with queen to h2 now g5 is really a huge threat because if uh, here uh, b4 g5 you have to now step back with your knight and now after g takes uh, h6 and bishop to h6 the problem is now this tactic knight to e6 look how in beautiful harmony white's places are playing here 
If you play now, of course, queen to e6, then you get this one. Knight to g6 deliberates, of course, uh, here the attack against the queen. You can maybe sack the queen, but this is game over here for black for sure. You can also play f takes e6, but the issue here is then this one. Knight to uh, d7. You see how powerful really the pawn on c6 is now. Also, queen to e5 is, for instance, a huge, huge uh, tactical threat. So this move, rook to b8, not, is not working. So I've also analyzed maybe queen to d8. If you don't want to get into this fork ideas by the knights, but still look at this g5 anyway, you don't have to even play now h4 as a support uh, move. You have to play now h6 g5. Now we play rook to g5. You can even challenge the uh, rook here, but now the cool part is that white can even sack the rook further here because after bishop to g5, queen to g5, there is now the huge threat of queen to h6 and rook to g1. You can maybe bring the knight uh, into defense, but now look at this, queen to h5 and now you have to cover with bishop to f5. Now we take, uh, knight takes f5, but now also knight takes f7 is a possibility, rook to f7, queen to f7, and there is simply no good defense here against this move knight to g6 so the game is over here for black so if you play in this particular position instead of this move rook to b8 or queen to d8 if you play of course knight to g6 in order to compete this is not good this square is taken three times by white knight to g6 is again simply winning the game so as i said in this position when stockfish built this amazing attacking formation i really couldn't see any defensive opportunities anymore here for black although black is up a whole piece really really well stuff so rebel tried here queen to e8 but stockfish continues with queen to f2 sneaking here into position uh here on dark wars rook to knight to g8 we have uh, queen to g3 queen to c8 desperate really, really paralyzed move here by um by uh, uh, by the rebel engine it's almost like in this movie when Andy Garcia is waiting for his death in, in Denver you know uh, probably you haven't watched this movie you should really watch it it's a really incredible movie black is also waiting for the death here because uh, black cannot move anything here black is just playing with his pieces uh, on the back rank and uh, now uh, what should you do? Stockfish, of course, is building his attack, but you don't have any any counterplay here in this particular position. So queen to g2, a4, we have bishop to b1, and now Stockfish is trying even to play queen to c2 and then to deliver, uh, deliver checkmate here on h7. Queen to d8, again, just some desperate moves here by uh, the rebel engine. Queen to c2, you have to play now knight to f6, and now g5. That's the move that we have seen previously as the main attacking theme, as the main attacking breakthrough. And this move is now coming in a beautiful way into the game. You have to play now bishop to f5 in order to compete. But now the fish plays, of course, you can guess what the fish is playing. G takes f6, sacking the queen. But you cannot, of course, uh, take out the queen. If you do so, look at this bishop to c2, then this one is coming. F takes g7, you have to play now king to h7, bishop to c2 is winning the game. If you play here, of course, king to g8, then g takes f8 comes with the check. You have to play now uh, here king to uh, king to f8. And the issue is now, uh, after bishop to c2, that this e file and gg file are locked. For instance, if you play knight to c8, the main goal the main attacking theme is here is this check with knight to d7 you have to now give up the queen and also here if you don't play that if you play here uh king to e8 again knight to d7 rook to g8 will happen so it's also a devastating devastating attack so uh the e file is occupied the g file is occupied so do, you don't have any counterplay here for black so here after move g takes f6 that's why bishop to f6 stockfish retreats now with the queen but is again targeting here uh the weak h6 pawn but now after bishop to g5 you can guess what the fish is doing plays rook takes g5 after h takes g5 now comes the last stunning move of the game and actually rebel even resign knight to e6 was uh here stockfish move and believe it or not black resign really really wild stuff okay again i was at home what the hell is going on what's uh, happening in this particular position let's see now opportunities for instance if you play queen to d6 if you're trying to get your queen back into the game the issue is now this one bishop to f5 uh here we have knight to f5 or rook takes uh, knight takes the rook on f8 rook takes f8 and now um this um the piece is hanging again always threats here some checks knight to f7 is of course a possibility if you play here something like rook to g8 you cannot compete on the g file this rook is coming into the game so 
for instance queen to d6 is obviously not working here so let's see now if you play rook to g8 if you're trying of course to protect uh, the pawn on g5 then of course you get the beautiful royal folk here uh, with the move knight to f7 so let's see if you play f6 if you're trying to kick away the knight then of course here again we have uh, here the opportunity to play knight to d8 the queen is hanging so simply too many too many dirty ideas if you play queen to e8 what should you do then queen to g5 you have to maybe uh, pick up here now the piece but again this is simply too brutal you can bring pieces in between but after knight to g6 again the game is over you can also play after knight to e6 f takes e6 simply take out the knight but now after queen to g5 again it's game over uh, there's simply too much pressure you can play bishop to h7 in order to cover yourself but now after queen to h6 knight to f5 we can play bishop to f5 rook to f5 knight to g6 is for instance a possibility you bring the king here rook to g1 is again creating dangerous dangerous attacks here on the g file you have to now include another piece into the game but for instance knight to f8 is winning the game uh, you have to step back now with the king queen to h7 uh, what should you do if you play king takes f8 then rook to g8 is a checkmate you have to play king to e8 then something like i don't know rook to g8 this d7 square is taken you don't have checks as i said simply too much pressure this is game over for black so as i said after move knight to e6 in this particular position rebel resign very very wild stuff really an immortal attack this is too brutal this is simply incredible what the fish is doing here really amazing attack in the path of defense so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of uh stockfish here amazing amazing attacking opportunities if you want to see more brutal and epic chess games like this check out our comment the chess games played by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say chess is the best of course